This installation guide is for a Kia Soul. The part installed in this video is a Takancha Model 11843 One Custom 4-Flat Wiring Harness. You will need the tools seen here to complete this installation. Four flat connectors are needed to connect a tow vehicle's operating lights to the operating lights of most non-brake trailers. Hey, what's up you guys? If you're going to be towing a trailer with your Kia Soul, you're going to need to get a trailer wiring harness installed on your vehicle. It's the law. To install a trailer wiring harness on your vehicle attachment points, one behind the passenger side tail light, one behind the driver's side tail light, we're going to go ahead and start in the back here and we'll, we'll start at the driver's side and remove this tail light and then move over to the passenger side. To remove the tail light on the, on the driver's side here, there are four fasteners that require a uh, Phillips screwdriver to lower these. Okay, now that we have all four fasteners removed, um, sometimes you can just shake it loose and it'll come right out. Other times you'll need to get like a trim tool or screwdriver and kind of just wedge it out here. And that's what I'll be doing with this uh, trim tool here. Okay, we have a plug here, a plug here, plug down here. Okay, let's go ahead and remove the tail light. And I'll show you the connector here. And this will be the tail light connector that we'll be using to install the trailer wiring harness. Um, to, we'll need to remove it out of this housing here. So to do that, uh, there's a little button at the top right here. And I'm just going to squeeze it and then pull straight out. By removing that connector, it'll allow us to take the light completely out. And we'll just set it here. And just like we did on the driver's side, we're going to do the same thing on the passenger side. Trim tool and we'll just kind of wedge it in. Just kind of work back and forth and give it a, a, a little pry. There it goes. Perfect. Squeeze the release lever here and pull. There we go. Now the connectors need to be routed from underneath the vehicle and behind the bumper fascia here and up underneath the light. There is one body fastener here that I'm going to remove just so I can pry back a little bit to give me a little bit more room to bring the connector through. Um, this just requires a flathead screwdriver. We'll just kind of pry it out here. You can see that there's little slots around this fastener that uh, is perfect for a flathead screwdriver. Just push it in, wiggle around, it'll pop right up. Perfect. That'll allow us to get gives us some room here and some flexibility to get our connector through. Um, we're going to do the exact same thing on the driver's side. Okay. For the purpose of the video, we've backed the vehicle up on our ramps here. That way you can see a little bit better of what we're doing underneath here. Um, I'll go ahead and get the product out so we can talk about it a little bit here. This is our four flat end. We've got three holes and the ground post. We've got our dust cover here. Flip this around so I can show you the uh, converter. This is a three to two wire converter. And then for our driver's side, it's going to be the yellow and brown wire. For the passenger side, it's going to be the green and red wire. This connector needs to go from underneath the vehicle behind the bumper, come up behind the bumper here and end up here in our little slot that, right below the tail light. So let's go ahead and start with that. Um, we also have to deal with the exhaust here. We don't want to touch the exhaust. It will melt the wiring. So we're going to go ahead and route it through the bumper beam and then up. Um, also, I want to talk a little bit about how we're going to get the wiring up. To, to avoid taking the bumper completely off, we're going to do a fish wire technique. And you can fish wire with pretty much any anything, any spare wiring that you have laying around or a coat hanger or anything like that. Um, today I'm going to be using a 
just some stiff wire that I have in my shop here. So again, it's gonna go down below the tail light behind the fascia here. It will come out down at the bottom. We will tape our connector there and then pull up. And as it comes up, it'll come through behind the fascia and end up right below the tail light housing here and we'll go ahead and then make our connections at that point so let's go ahead and do that we'll start with the routing the connectors through the bumper and over the exhaust okay guys we're behind the bumper on the driver's side because we want to run our passenger side connector over we're going to be running it behind the bumper bracket here we'll go ahead and move over and show you the other brackets that we went behind Right above the receiver tube hitch, another bracket here. We'll keep moving over. I'll show you the other bracket that we went through, the last one right here. Again, this connector is gonna go straight up into the tail light housing. And to do that, we're gonna be fish wiring uh, a stiff wire through. We'll pull it down, tape it, to, tape it to the wire, and then pull it straight up from here. We're up at the passenger side tail light here. We're gonna go ahead and fish wire down so that we can attach our connector and pull it straight up. Got my fish wire here. And I'm gonna try and stay as close as I can to the inside of the door here. It seems to be a little bit more flexible. Pull that up and just push it straight down. Okay. And there are brackets and stuff that you can run into behind the bumper there. So you, you wanna kind of fish it up and down until you try to feel it go free down just like that. You may struggle a little bit, but that's okay. Um, now I'm gonna reach underneath and, and feel around and grab the wire and pull, pull it down and then tape it to the connector. I'm gonna reach under here and grab our connector. it is okay now our next step is it's going to take this connector the passenger side tape it to our fish wire and we'll be able to just pull straight up and it'll come right through the bottom of the tail light there you can just use some basic uh, electrical tape here we don't have to go crazy with it just a couple of loops around will do Okay, perfect. Now all we do is just pull on our fish wire and it'll go straight up. Now we just need to pull on our fish wire on top. And as I pull, I'm gonna kind of rapidly go up and down so that the connector can make its way past any brackets or wiring harnesses. It just helps keeping it from getting snagged. There we go. I'm also gonna pull on our bumper fascia here to help the connector be fed through. Okay, and there it is. Just take the tape off. Find our end. Okay, we're done with our fish wire now. We have our connector through, coming through the bumper fascia here. Now we'll go ahead and just make our connection to the taillight harness. Okay, and as we're plugging in, we'll hear a nice click to let us know we're locked in, just like that. Okay, now we'll get the actual passenger side taillight plug it into this end here and then we'll just get it all set back into place and move on to the driver's side. This is our connector and our trailer wiring harness connector. We'll just clip it right in. And we're going to go ahead and just put the tail light back into its position here and putting the passenger side tail light back in, making sure that our body plugs here line up. All three on the outside. 
Okay, once we've got those lined up, we can just tap on the light and go right into place. Now the last thing to do to get this tail light put back in is the uh, four screws here. We're gonna go ahead and do the exact same process on the driver's side. Okay, now we just need to find our wire up under here. Kind of hung up on a bracket here. Back on the face just so I can get my arm up there and grab it. Okay, and the last thing I want to do here is take our ground wire and I'm going to tape it to the yellow and brown wire as well. So as I'm pulling up, it will come up with it and I'll be able to make my ground behind the tail light. I'll go ahead and pull on the fish wire from above the bumper here. Pull it straight up. Help it, help it along here. And we're gonna shake our fish wire around up and down. Try to feed it through and so it's not getting caught up on any of the wiring brackets. Or bumper brackets. There it is. Again, we're going to try and get our ground wire up as well. And there it is. Let's take some of the tape off. I don't want to take it all off because I don't want to lose it back down in the bumper there. So I'll leave it just like that. Okay, we'll take the tape off of our wiring connectors here. Okay, we can lose our fish wire now. We'll go ahead and take our tail light connector plug in. Okay, before we put our tail light back in and connect here, we got a couple more steps. We need to put our body fastener for the fascia here and our ground down here. So let's go ahead and start with the body fastener. We'll just take our ground. I have to get this wire out of the way. We'll just go ahead and put it right through the body here. bottom. Now we'll just grab our tail light, plug it back into our connector here. Click it in. Carefully slide it in. Match our plugs here. Okay, now we can just take our four screws, screw them back in, and we'll be done with the tail light area. Okay, so we're left with our four flat underneath the bumper here. There's a couple different places we can um, put this away for use whenever you're towing a trailer. You can put put it up inside through a body plug into the cargo area and then pull it out through the cargo um, door when, when you wanna use it or leave it underneath. Um, if you leave it underneath, it's a good idea to spend a couple extra dollars for a 
mounting bracket. They, they, they install really easy, just mounts right to the bottom of the bumper. We're gonna put a couple of holes under the fascia here and then put some screws through it and it tighten it down. And let's go ahead and do that. Make sure it's level here. Okay. All right, we got our holes drilled. We'll go ahead and take our screw. I'll just run it right up here into the hole. We'll take a backing nut here, go on the inside of the fascia. Snug it with our Phillips screwdriver here. Now we'll do the other side. Okay, our four flat bracket is in place. Now we can just take our four flat, push it through. It's got little grooves on it there and it'll just kind of snap into place and you just rock it back and forth until it does. Okay, it's in there. Close our dust cover. That's mounting our four flat bracket. And take our provided zip tie we're gonna take this excess wire here and we're gonna zip tie it up to the wiring harness or bumper bracket up right above the four flat bracket here. Okay, and that's it for our four flat uh, wiring install on a Kia Soul. Um, have fun, be safe, and thank you for watching our video. Have a great day. To learn more about the products seen in this video or to schedule an installation by U-Haul Hitch Professional, visit us online today at uhaulhitches.com.